Yo, what's up guys, Saji here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best strategy that I found for going flaws and altar flame for this week. So basically what you want to do is send your one sniper guy up here like so, so he can hold down an angle for you so you can get first pick. You want to jump up here, and once you're up here, you're able to hold down all these sniper angles, so if they even push up a little bit, you can snipe them, and you can get the guarantee you first pick, you can even snipe them through the cloth, even if they pick. But now we're going to switch uh, view so you can see what it looks like when they're up here. But another angle that you can take if you don't feel like you can get up here fast enough to beat the opponent, you can take this safe route and you can jump right here basically on this corner. And once you're up here you can basically do the same thing. You can snipe anybody in that angle but you just still have like the open view as the other spot but this is just a safer angle if you don't think you can get up here fast enough but if you do get the pick you basically just want to play run the pick and just try to see where they're at because most of the time they're usually on the head glitch right there if they are on the head glitch right there you basically want to try to rotate and get call outs for your teammates and if you know they're right there just take a different angle and try to snipe them but if you do got uh, a shotgun on your team you want to try to send your shotgun through this route right here and once you're right there, you can just hurry up and close up on them with a shoddy and kill them if they're all right here. But if not, basically, if you want to just play inside, just to wait for heavy. Just basically just hold down the angles and keep them outside because you got a lot of cover that you can use and everything. So that's basically the strategy if you play inside. Just pretty much just play cover and play angles until you're able to get the first pick. Now we're going to show you the best strategy that I found for playing outside when cap point does spawn or unless you want to just play outside to be safer. So basically what you want to do, you want to send the one guy up here just to play a little bit passive. So send him right on top of this thing like so. And once you're up here, you can see everybody that challenges you from outside. So you just play a little bit about a passive and just wait for them to push you really so you can get this bar right up here. Or you can... um play another amazing head glitch right here you just got to jump up on this little edge like so and once you're up here you're able to see everything that challenges you in mid spawn and you're in a really really dope um, head glitch and another spot that you can go to is right up here and you can really you can get a clear board uh, view if you want to see everybody you know middle too but if you do want to go up higher you can um, jump right up here but this is all um, if you just want to go up a little bit higher you can go up here and also and you can see um uh, B flag where chubby is right now and once you're down here too you're able to hold like a um, insane angle of anybody in mid so they either challenge you over there you can see everything if they challenge you from over here so this is like a never amazing spot if you guys just want to play a little passive and just wait for a cat point to spike and cat point does spawn right here and so so you get a wide open view on it and you're able to see anything that challenges from outside so this is the um, second strategy that I found for this side of the map but the best strategy that I found for playing on this side basically is you want to send your one sniper over here in this head glitch right here just to play around stairs and everything just to try to get the first pick if they challenge you just so just try to play on this like hill right here because it's like better cover so just play around this and you get the grass to cover you so just make sure you just play around the far right or if you know they always push the one shotgun guy over there you want to hold down this angle too because you're able to see inside the little tunnel so if they push you with a shot you're able to see that too so this is a never really good spot or what I usually do since um any character that can any character can do this but what I usually do if I'm if I know my team is going to play this side I usually jump right up here like so you want to try to be on this corner because this is like the highest uh, peak on this um, cube and then once you're up here you want to jump up here and once you're up here you can see all of that or if you want to go even further than that do the same thing so you want to jump up here again and now you want to jump on top of this like so and once you're up here you can see all there or you can literally run around all the way matter right, right there if you got like a shotgun on your team so you can just literally run on top of there and you can either primary them real quick if they're pushing or you can just jump on top of them with shoddy but that's basically like the strategy that i found for playing this side then you just basically do the same thing just play play run the pick and 
just wait and see where they go and that's pretty much it but now we're gonna show you the best strategy for going outside for this side of the map so there's a few spots that you can go to build some super energy there's one right here you can jump right up here like so and you can sit right up here like in this corner in this super dark area and they shouldn't see you up here when you crouch and everything so this is a one really good spot for charging up your super energy or there's a spot right in here inside these holes like what Maddie just did you can jump into these holes and and you're able to get into these little spots up here so basically you want to do it you just want to you're not going to probably get it first shot but you want to just line yourself up so you just want to line your body up into the hole so now I should be lined up and once you're lined up basically just jump up like so and once you're up here you can literally just crouch and just chill and you can get multiple players up here too so you can get like your entire team in here if you really wanted to and this is a a really never good spot but you can also get inside this one but this one's a little bit harder so I wouldn't recommend it so I'd rather just so just get all your friends inside this one because it's like a bigger hole but um another strategy they can do if you're just trying to play around cap point you want to send your one guy up here if you got like a sniper or someone you want to just send them right here so basically you just want to try to jump between these little wherever this little hole is right here and get inside this little hole and once you're in here you're able to um, see everything on cap point and you can just chill up here and just build up super energy or you can even rotate around here just do the same thing just snipe by that challenge man or snipe anybody or you can just jump up top of here like so and it's a little ledge that you can just grab up on and you can get multiple players up I say around like one more player up here so two players tops and you can just chill up here and just wait and just build super injured just wait for them to be the aggressor and just play around cat point really and I'll say this is all the spots that I know for this map and hopefully these spots was useful to you guys and hopefully you guys can manage to pull out a follow for this week and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.